should be a move Chris Jenner duh <coughs> hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl Kyra for today's video we're gonna be talking about how to be a bad bitch honey because it's 2019 this is the year of growth this is the year of getting that bag this is that year of being the best you because it all starts with you because you really need that you really need to like walk into 2019 like you're that bitch and i really feel like y'all always are asking me how do you be so how are you so confident how do you do this how do you carry yourself this way da -da -da -da. and i'm like let me just have a little chat with them because i want y'all to like know that i've been through a lot of shit to get to where i am today like i swear to god like i was never like this i never like carried myself like this i never walked in a room and felt like my presence was felt like by bitches that <laughs> you know what i'm saying like it doesn't like being a bad bitch does not start with makeup it does not start with hair it doesn't start with followers it doesn't start with likes it don't start with taking a bitch nigga and thinking you that bitch like no it's none of that it's none of that shit it's how you walk talk your attitude how do you carry yourself all that is gonna really make you what you who you need to be and how you handle things through life and you know that's what being a bad bitch is to me and you know i really i really want y'all to be y'all best self so let's just talk about it so don't forget to like comment subscribe to this video i hope you guys enjoy and let's just get started so the first thing to being a bad bitch is that you really need to own up who you are own who you are own all your flaws own all your insecurities like y'all i was so insecure like with myself because all through like middle school elementary school and then up into my senior year of high school i was always talked about like about my eyes like y'all know my eyes are like far apart they're like chinky like people always ask me what i mix with because like they don't know they're like why do you have chinky eyes but you're dark skin like what are you like and it's just like uh like am i ugly as fuck like is there a problem with having chinky eyes but that you know that was back then 13 22 i was always talked about like i was so insecure y'all just don't even know like i was i just did not want i hated my eyes at that point like i hated my face like because you know i went to an all black school basically all black school and i was always around like the black people and they like made it an issue you like like it was a problem of having like chink eyes like they like why are your eyes like that like why you got your eyes all far apart like are you mixed with chinese like and then i'm just like what the fuck like <laughs> is being chinese a problem and then it's just like i wanted to just look like a normal black girl like honestly like i just wanted to look like a normal black girl because i just did not want people coming up to me all the time like ugh, move and it's just like now and then like you know i had a like i was so happy i got to wear glasses like it filled in the space between my eyes so i was like comfortable but then my mom was like no you're you're getting contacts like no because i start getting like dense in my eyes so then oh my god y'all excuse my voice too i'm coming over a cold so when i got to high school i started wearing makeup and then i just you know put makeup on to enhance my features and i was um at school and they were like oh my god you look so pretty like da, da, da. and i was like oh my god like yes like make this my thing and i love it so yeah like just own who you are and like now like you know people are like oh my god like you don't even look like you're from where, where i'm from and maybe god gave me this face for a reason like you never know why god blesses you with the things that he's giving you so just own it don't wish you wish look like somebody else don't wish that you look like somebody else because god gave you these features for a reason and i mean if you don't like it you can fix it whatever it, i don't have nothing against plastic surgery or nothing but i'm just saying like if you can't change something just own it you know what i'm saying like i'm not gonna go have surgery on my fucking eyes like no i'm just you know so all my shit i'm on who i am as a woman so that's what i did and yeah and them same bitches talking about you gonna be in your inbox like oh my god you look so cute da -da -da. and it's just like 
what was you saying about my eyes that they so far apart anyways just own who you are you are you for a reason and just own your shit because you are that bitch period lifting other women makes you even more of a bad bitch like i always compliment bitches i always be like oh my god your hair so cute like oh my god like you don't even know if you're making a bitch's day like you don't even know what somebody is going through just a compliment to another female is gonna really make their day like i love gassing my friends up i'll be like yes bitch yes like don't be a hater don't be a hating ass bitch like don't be a hater like please don't i hate haters i hate hating ass bitches like why are you talking down on her for what what does she do to you like if you see another girl in a better situation than you that's fine go congratulate her go make her feel like yes i love how i love your process i love like what are you what you're doing and i hope i can get on your level one day and you need to grind that shit out and get on her level like hey to congratulate another female it's okay it is okay it's all right congratulations to you because over here i'm trying to be on your level so i'm gonna get to work but congrats to you like, like you're gonna get there just wait your turn it's a journey it's a process it's no overnight success you just gotta put the work in like she did and you will get there you will get there honestly like, you can't give a fuck about what anybody has to say about you period like who gives a fuck like if a, a bitches is always talking about me let's be honest bitches are always talking to me about me they probably talking about my youtube they probably be watching my shit probably talking shit but i don't really care like i don't care always talking about me i don't give a fuck like i don't care like what what can you say about me that i already don't know about myself i don't care like that's why i say like you have to own your insecurity so nobody is able to say shit about you like okay my eyes are far apart and i do have chink eyes and what and what 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 else do you have to say okay who cares like they don't pay your bills they not paying you um i was verbally abused my last relationship let's just say that i was verbally abused like he would say shit like um this is where i had low self-esteem like um the beginning of this year and kind of last year like 2017 and then the start of 2018 but no i was verbally abused and he would say like oh you're not the only cute bitch in wisconsin da -da -da. like really nigga like really like i would hear this from a nigga i'm fucking like to hear somebody say that about me like a nigga you fucking you should want they should be like oh my god like you're the only girl i see da, 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 this that and the third and he wasn't like that so basically you have to really know who you are as a person as a woman to really get through situations like shit like that like whoever you messing with like these niggas like fuck these niggas when it comes to these niggas to being a bad bitch don't give out no second chances i don't give a fuck like i'm not giving out no second chances with no niggas like i learned my lesson sorry like once a cheater always a cheater like i don't care like if you want to fuck with another bitch let her have him let her have him because at the end of the day you're gonna be glowing up and he gonna be doing the same shit he said he wasn't gonna do and he gonna be still doing that shit and you're gonna be on a glow up with a whole new nigga like who cares like fuck him and her don't let up apply pressure like was really good period never be a fraud. Fraud. I don't fraud i come across so many fraud ass bitches that's one way on the internet and then another way in person if you don't got something you just don't got it like stop acting like you fucking do like if you don't that's fine as long as you're working towards your goals and work working towards whatever the fuck you want to do yes do that shit but don't act like you already fucking got it like no i hate bitches like that like i don't have it all i don't have a luxury car like i don't have this big ass mansion like i don't have this fucking a1 nigga like i'm not so happy in love like da 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 like no but it's not like i'm not trying to oh my god i'm losing my voice right fucking now this is embarrassing <laughs> yeah just work towards your shit don't put on no front and don't put on a front like people are gonna respect you more when they see you going through your shit but you get out of you're getting out of your shit and doing better in life like people are gonna respect you more and love you more for that and respect that and want to get advice from you and stuff like that and probably somebody they look up to you never know you never know who is watching you so don't put on the front 
don't do it because that's not cute and if you want to do something do it don't be scared to step out of your comfort zone this year like don't be afraid to do whatever you want to do people are going to talk shit any fucking ways so do whatever you want to wear what the fuck you want to wear like who cares like i remember i wore this shane justin outfit um a couple of months ago like i didn't give a fuck like it was like i don't like undergarments like i don't like undergarments if they're showing that's like no like that's tacky as fuck to me so i wore this outfit and i ain't wear no undergarments i don't care like i don't give a fuck and i'm gonna put it right here and it went viral i don't care like i don't people are like oh she don't got no panties i don't yeah i didn't have no panties on and what what the picture is cute the outfit is cute i'm cute what do it if you want to wear something weird if you want to go get surgery get fucking surgery like who cares who gives a fuck like just go do that shit if you want if it's gonna make you happy do whatever makes you happy period don't have no second guesses about anything about your happiness never think you're hurting somebody's feelings thinking about your own like we only have one life to live and sis we can't live it living somebody else's life you know i just really feel like bad bitches just know who they are they aren't getting told about themselves they already know who they are so it's just it's just a process like it's basically getting to know yourself and having nobody be able to talk shit about you because you already know what the fuck is good so it really doesn't matter about anybody's opinion bitches hold their heads high and they walk in a room and their presence is felt it's that there she go that's that bitch over there yes like yes so don't ever be afraid to you know be a little bit cocky it's a difference between confident and cocky but you can be a little bit cocky who cares like a uh, bitch is always screaming like i'm that bitch i'm that bitch and that's fine just because you saying you that bitch don't mean i'm that bitch too like you know what i'm saying like we can all be that bitch like don't ever think that it's a competition don't be in competition with no bitch don't be in competition with anybody i know it's hard because you want to be somebody else and you see all these bitches on instagram don't be in competition with no bitch you are your only competition don't call another bitch ugly don't call another bitch out on her shit if you don't have nothing nice to say don't fucking say it like because god is gonna see that and god is not gonna bless you don't even compare yourself to nobody all these bitches with these asses but you know what see me and like two of my friends got some big ass booties and y'all already know like they have big ass asses and you know i have a nice shape i feel like i have a nice shape i have a nice booty but it's not all like humongous like there's that's they got too much ass for me but and that's fine because i'm there's no competition between us because that's my bitch and she looks good then my bitches and they look good so i'm gonna walk next to them like i got a big ass booty too like there's no competition like ever like, I would never feel like I'm in competition with no bitch. Stop looking at bitches on Instagram because you don't even know what the fuck they doing. Like, you don't even know what kind of bed they sleeping on. You don't know what their house situation is. You don't know none of that shit. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys become the best you in 2019. I hope y'all prosper in 2019. I really hope y'all find yourselves if y'all going through something right now with some self-esteem issues or anything like that. Don't worry, sis. It's not an overnight process, but you will get through it and you will get better and you will step in the room like you that bitch, period. Like, period. There's no... There's no other way to put it. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I love y'all so much. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Bye.